Hello everyone, Sigmalator here. Welcome back to Mass Effect 2, the Legendary Edition. Thanks for taking care of that crazy guy. Saves me having to beat him to death with his own spine. <laughs> that makes the other customers nervous. <laughs> anyway, this is Eternity, and I'm Athena, a sorry matriarch and bartender. Get you anything? You're an Asari matriarch? I thought matriarchs serve as honored advisors. Right. Which I do here at this bar. I know. Not what you'd expect. But nobody on Thessia wanted to listen to my wise counsel, so here I am. Dad was a Krogan who fought in the Rachni Wars. My mother fought in the Krogan Rebellions. I've pretty much seen it all. Your mother fought in the Krogan Rebellions? I don't know whether she fought. She scouted, sniped a few people, and blew up a couple of space stations. You know, commando stuff. She put the old commando leathers on for special nights with Dad. Goddess, that was embarrassing. <laughs> you said your father fought in the Rachni Wars. Yeah, when he was young. Loved showing off his war scars. Krogan think they're sexy. Me, I go for asses. When I was a girl, he'd tell me about landing on this poison-filled world and stomping a Rachni queen at a muck. Scientists say all that stuff about us getting genetic material from her father is crap. Seems like I got a bit of his mouth, though. If your mother fought in the rebellions and your father was a Krogan, didn't that cause tension? They didn't meet until a few hundred years after the Turians put the boot in with the damn genophage. As far as either one knew, they were both just warriors. Dad boasted. Mom stayed quiet. Mom was a matriarch herself. Dad was near on a thousand when the truth came out. What happened when he found out? I was about a hundred. Shaking my ass in some sleazy bar. They got me on the link. Told me that they were gonna have it out. And made me promise to love whichever one survived. Turned out to be damn easy, since neither one did. Family, huh? What a kick in the quad. What's it like, living for nearly a thousand years? Violent. Wars break out. Colonies get destroyed. Sometimes you hear good news, like that colony on Pharaoh surviving. That's the exception, though. You find peace in whatever arms will hold you. Turian, Elcor, Hanar, even had a pure-blood daughter. I was the father. Didn't work out. And one day you wake up, your figure's gotten matriarchal, and everyone else is too young to remember how the Quarians looked inside those suits. Why is a matriarch in a bar serving drinks? It's better than what most other matriarchs are doing. Look at that screw-up with Saren and his geth a few years back. Their ships were hanging bare-assed in space when Saren started shooting. If not for you humans, we would have bought it right there. And I warned him. Told people on Thessia what was coming and they didn't want to hear it. What didn't they want to hear? That art and philosophy and political prowess wasn't gonna cut it. We can't go a single Asari lifetime without some big war breaking out. We need to get our daughters working earlier, not spending their wild maiden years stripping or in merc bands. When I started talking about making new mass relays ourselves, they laughed the blue up my ass. So now, I serve drinks. Fair enough. Thanks for telling me about that. That's what I'm here for, babe. Get you anything else? I'd like something to drink. Sure. I'll set up a tab at the drink kiosk. Knock yourself out. Literally, if you want. Just don't drink anything for Turians or Quarians. It does nasty things to your insides. Once saw Krogan drink a liquefied Turian on a dare six or seven centuries back. Nobody came out of that one looking pretty. <laughs> What's it like being an Asari matriarch? Pretty much like being anything else. My parents had it more interesting than I did. Thanks for telling me about that. Right. Don't eat the nuts in the Red Bulls. They're for Turians and Quarians. You'll get cramps. Mystery drink. Let's reach the first. Fair enough. All right, Connor. Good luck talking to the weapons merchant. Remember, she's at the shop by the carport. Right. Ah. Ms. Lawson, I'm glad you've made it. We've had a complication. What happened? Is Ariana all right? She's fine, but you listed a man named Niket as your trusted source. 
He contacted me, warning that your father has sent Eclipse mercenaries to make a sweep. He suggested that the mercs might be watching for you personally. He's offered to escort Oriana's family to the terminal instead. You didn't mention anything about Niket. He's a friend. He and I go back a long way. Do you want to bring in any of your other Ilium contacts, Ms. Lawson? No. You and Niket are the only two I trust on this. What information do you have about the mercenaries? I've confirmed that they're Eclipse, and that they're working for an organization Ms. Lawson warned us about. I could try to alert the authorities, but so far they've done nothing illegal. You made the right decision. We'll handle this ourselves. It's your sister, Miranda. What do you want to do? Lantea, we'll follow Niket's suggestion. Shepard and I will take the car and draw their attention. Have Niket escort the family to the shuttle. Give him full access to the family's itinerary, just to be safe. Understood, Ms. Lawson. So the plan is for us to get shot down by Eclipse while your sister gets to safety? Eclipse will be under orders to take my sister alive. They won't risk anything that could kill us. I doubt Eclipse will send all their people just to stop you. You want to give Niket any backup? Niket can take care of himself. Besides, any armed backup just draws attention to him. I'm ready whenever you are, Miranda. All right. Thank you, Shepard. I appreciate this. I hadn't planned on Eclipse, but they never planned on you. Damn right. Let's get her done. Uh, yeah, we'll keep tally. Um, no, nope, we're all done here. Damn it! Eclipse mercenary gunships. They'll be dropping troops in the cargo areas. Seems excessive. Put us down in that cover behind them. Let's hope they really do want to take us alive. Hold fire! I said hold fire, damn it! That's one way to land. I got this. Do you? Since you're not firing yet, I trust you know who I am. Yeah, they said you'd be in the car. You're the bitch that kidnapped our boss's little girl. Kidnapped? This doesn't involve you. I suggest you take your men and go. Think you've got it all lined up, huh? Captain Inyala's already moving in on the kid. She knows about Niket. He won't be helping you. What do you mean, Niket won't be helping us? Nothing you need to worry about. Nobody's gonna get killed unless you do something stupid. You walk away now, the girl goes back to her father, and everybody's happy. Everybody but my sister. And me. Should we be talking to Captain Inyala about this? You don't want to talk to the Captain. She's not as... polite as I am. She's the best commando I've ever seen. I've seen her tear people in half with her biotics. And she's getting paid a lot to stop you. She gets in my way, she'll never have a chance to spend it. Wait, Miranda, you said she was your twin sister. That what she told you? No, this crazy bitch kidnapped our boss's baby daughter. He's been looking for her for more than a decade. It's complicated, Shepard. We share the same DNA, just not the same birthday. You took a baby from the richest guy in the galaxy, lady. I don't know what your damage is, but you're not getting away with it. You're not getting Miranda's sister. If you push this, it'll go badly for you. Captain Inyala ordered us to give you one chance to walk away. This whole time we've been talking, my men have been lining up shots. When I say the word, we unleash hell on your squad. So I suggest you walk away nicely, unless you want... <laughs> We're compromised. Here we go. There we go. 
You down? He's down. Alright, nothing to collect. Ooh, ammo. We'll get that. Okay, nothing around here. Come on, we need to get to the cat. All right, nothing here. Hang on, I've got one of their radios. I'll patch us in, see if I can get an idea of what we're up against. Shepard, I think I owe you an explanation. <laughs> Ariana is my twin, genetically. But my father grew her when I was a teenager. She was meant to replace me. I couldn't let my father do to her what he did to me. So I rescued her. She's almost a woman now. Why didn't you tell me that we were saving a kid? She's not a child. She'll be 19 this year. But, well, it didn't seem relevant at the time, I suppose. There are people who'd use her against me. I'm very protective when it comes to Oriana. I'm sorry I didn't trust you sooner. You deserved to know. I can understand choosing to go your own way. But you stole a young child from her father. If you knew my father, you would understand. I wasn't the first one he made. I was only the first one he kept. I was brought up with no friends, pushed to meet impossible demands. I wasn't a daughter to him. I was... I don't know what I was. Ariana has had a normal life. I made the right decision. If Eclipse knows where Ariana is, they'll be moving in on her soon. We need to hurry. Agreed. I'm a bit worried by what the Merc said. If they've got to Niket somehow, this is going to be harder than I'd planned. According to the specs I reviewed, we'll need to cut through the cargo processing yard to get to Oriana. Can you tell me anything about the cargo processing yard? We'll be moving through conveyor systems. There'll be a lot of movement. Finding targets won't be easy. We'll need to stay sharp. And these cargo transports carry hazardous materials. So watch what you shoot at. I hope your friend can be trusted. Absolutely. Niket is one of my oldest friends. I guess you could say he was my only real friend. He's the only person I didn't cut ties with when I left my father. Is there a chance your father could be using Niket to get to you? I'm sure he's tried, but Niket's one of the few people who understands what my father is really like. I trusted him with my life when I ran from my father, Shepard. He won't betray me now. Let's go find Niket and Orion. Right. Let's get it in. I don't know why I keep saying that. <laughs> All right. They're on the far side of the conveyor line. Time your shots. They've Get seen down. us. Where are you? Ow! Alright, you got anything for me over here? Yes, you do. Lots of goodies. A machine gun. Scan that. Alright, nothing else here. Oh, good, Mer uh, Mex.
Ready to fight. Anyone else? Where did I come from? Ah, over there. Have you got anything in here for me? Yes, you do. Thank you. Uh, that one. Come on, give me the one I need. Thank you. And then that one. This is valuable. Will you now? Damn it, I'm not letting her get Oriana. Shield down. I got her. Uh engaging friend or foe detection. Anyone else? There we go. We can cut down through the cargo line. On it. Right, anything in here? Yes. Um that one. That one and that one. Uh, very much. Okay. Anything around here? Yeah.
I need to make sure that I find that woman's thing. Unless I've already missed it. No, I think it's in the last area, if I remember rightly. I could be wrong though. Maybe the captain knows we're listening in and she's feeding misinformation about Niket making a switch. Or maybe it means something else. Niket wouldn't do that. Damn it, why won't this thing go any faster? What makes you so sure that Niket wouldn't turn on you? He could have turned on me when I ran away. I'm sure my father tried to buy him off. If he didn't do it then, why would he do it now? Did Niket know that you took Oriana from your father? No, he just found out about that recently. It was too personal to involve someone else. I never really thought about it, but maybe... No, he'd have to understand why I did it. He knows what I went through. We won't know anything until we find Niket. And then I'll have a word with this Captain and Yala. All right, here we go. Listen to me. I've got authorization to change their booking. I'm sorry, sir. We're under security lockdown. Until the situation in the cargo terminal is resolved, no passengers can be rebooked. This isn't worth my time, Niket. I get paid regardless of how the girl gets there. No. I was told that I could handle this my way. We're not traumatizing the family any more than we... Miri. This should be fun. <laughs> Niket, you sold me out. How do you want to handle this, Miranda? Why, Niket? You were my friend. You helped me get away from my father. Yes, because you wanted to leave. That was your choice. But if I'd known that you'd stolen a baby... I didn't steal her. I rescued her. From a life of wealth and happiness? You weren't saving her. You were getting back at your father. How did Miranda's father turn you? They told me you would kidnapped your baby sister all those years ago. They said I could help get her back peacefully. No trauma to the family. I told them you'd never do that. They could go to hell. And you finally told me what you'd done. I called them back that night. Why didn't you call me, Niket? We've been through a lot. You could have at least let me explain. I deserve to know that you'd stolen your sister, Miri. I deserve to know you were with Cerberus. But I had to hear it from your father first. How much did Miranda's father pay you? A great deal. Damn it, Niket! You were the only one I trusted from that life. He knew you felt that way. That's why he bought me. So you just took his money? Don't get holy with me, Miri. You took his money for years. I knew Eclipse was willing to get their hands dirty, but kidnapping a kid? I'm not stealing her. I'm rescuing her. Come on, Niket. Let's finish this bitch off and get out of here. Take your best shot. I was just waiting for you to finish getting dressed. Or does Cerberus really let you whore around in that outfit? Whether or not you agree with Miranda, Oriana has been with her family for years now. Her father can still give her a better life. You don't know what my father wants for her. I know that I've been poor, Miri. I didn't much care for it. He wants to take a girl away from the only family she's ever known. Doesn't that tell you what he really is? If Niket knows about Oriana, then your father does too. Relocating her won't work. Miranda's father has no information about Oriana. I knew you had spy programs in your father's system, Miri, so I kept it private. I'm the only one who knows. Which means that you're the only loose end. This isn't how I wanted it to end, Niket. Miranda, wait. You don't want to do this. This has to end here, Shepard. My father will keep trying to find Oriana. Maybe Niket can help. Talk to your father. Just say you got here first. Oh, I'll tell him that you hid her. That I don't know where she is. I never want to see you again, Nikit. Done. Now, if you don't mind, I have a shipment to deliver. You'll die for that, bitch! <laughs> oh, it's on! Incoming.
And die. There could be more Eclipse Mercs near the shuttle. I want to make sure Oriana and her family get on safely. Right, let me have a scout around, see if I can find this trinket. I'm sure it's around here somewhere. There we go. Uh, this locket has a picture of an Asari and a human man. It doesn't look expensive, but likely holds sentimental value. Cool. There we go. I can't believe Niket sold me out. <laughs> I didn't even see it coming. Even with all your upgrades, you're human, just like the rest of us. But I let it get personal, and I screwed up. Why didn't you let me kill him? I could have handled that. But watching him get gunned down by that Asari bitch. You still cared for him, even if he betrayed you. You're right. And my father knew it. He used that against me. It's always been like this. My father gave me anything I ever wanted. But there was always a hook, an angle for his long-term plan. I threw away everything he ever gave me when I ran. Except Niket weakness on my part any other old friends your father might use against you no I cut ties with everyone else anyone I'm close to now works for Cerberus or you my father's powerful but he won't cross the elusive man you can't toss aside everything you care about just to be safe it's okay Shepard my father hurt me but he didn't break me as much as he tried to turn me into exactly what he wanted I'm my own person you still have Orion. My father didn't give her to me. I rescued her, but yes, you're right. I still have something. Thank you. Cool. That's Miranda's loyalty mission out the way. No sign of Eclipse. It looks like we're clear. There she is. She's safe. With her family. Come on, we should go. Don't you even want to say hello? It's not about what I want, it's about what's right for her. The less she knows about me, the better. She's got a family. A life. I'll just complicate that for her. She doesn't need any details. But would it really be so bad for her to know she has a sister who loves her? I guess not. Go on. We'll wait here. That was quick. Yay! The prodigal. Enough! 
Stand down, both of you. The cheerleader won't admit what Cerberus did to me was wrong. It wasn't Cerberus. Not really. But clearly you were a mistake. Screw you! You've got no idea what they put me through. Maybe it's time I showed you. Our mission is too important to let personal feelings get in the way. Fuck your feelings. I just want her dead. You both know what we're up against. Save your anger for the Collectors. I can put aside my differences. Until the mission's over. Sure. I'll do my part. I'd hate to see her die before I get a chance to fillet her myself. You two gonna be okay? You two just need to kiss and get it over with. As long as she does her job, we'll be fine. Thanks, Shepard. Alright. Thanks again, Shepard. Taking the time to help me with my sister. I couldn't have reached Ariana in time without your help. I'm glad Niket tried to redeem himself. For what good it did. Thank you for stopping me, Commander. Are you happy about your sister's relocation? She has what I wanted her to have. A normal life, and the freedom to choose her own path. And she knows she has an older sister. A friend. Are you gonna talk to her again? I honestly don't know. For once, I haven't planned that far ahead. I'll deal with it after our mission. I have to stay focused, and she needs time to adjust to her new home. You never told me what you talked about. I introduced myself. Her family was shocked. She adjusted quickly, of course. She's as smart as I am. She plays the violin, loves the adagio movement of Nielsen's fifth, just like I do. She wants to work in colony development. Told a joke about it. She's really funny, something we don't share. Let me know if I can do anything else. I think I got it from here. My father has no chance at finding her family in their new location. But thank you, Commander. My sister is safe again, thanks in large part to you. I won't forget that. Cool. All right. Pretty sure Garrus is done for chatting now. We've got his thing out of the way, but let's have a look. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some calibration. Talk to you later, Garrus. I'll be here if you need me. Uh, yeah, Garrus, I think, is pretty much done. Let's go have a quick chat with everyone else. I think uh, Tally's pretty much the same now. Shepard, what can I do for you? Have you got time to talk? For you? Of course. I can't tell, but I understand if you need to find something. I don't want to risk your health. I want, I'll find a way. Yeah, okay, so that's pretty much going to be the same now. Alright, what about you, Jack? Hey. Tell me something I don't know about you. Nothing to tell. Why? If we go into combat together, we should know more about each other. If you say so. I'm not used to being on a team. It's all touchy-feely. Something you don't know, huh? Obvious stuff, like what's up with my ink, or something else just as boring. You're not really interested unless it affects you. I've been through all this shit before. I could be genuine. You have no way of knowing. I have eyes, and I have history. You'll back off. As soon as you realize you're not the first, and I'm immune to your help. Oh, bite. What's with the tattoos? Some are for prisons I've been in. Some are for kills. You know, good ones. Some are for things I've lost. Those aren't your business. They're nobody's business. And some are because, hey, why the fuck not? You work pretty hard at not letting people get close. I've been with lots of people. If you're asking about a boyfriend or a girlfriend, no. It's a waste of time and it never works. 
you let someone get that close, it just means they need a shorter knife. Lonely and alive works just fine, thanks. You're tough, but you can't have survived alone all these years. When I was starting out, I ran with this girl Manara and her boyfriend. They knew their way around. I thought they'd help me. Right. They helped me into their bed. And when we finally did take down something big, they helped themselves to my share of the take. I knew where it was heading, and I got them first. Never bothered with friends after that. They sound like selfish pricks. That doesn't mean they were gonna kill you. I get feelings. I don't need proof. I did the smart thing. I always do the smart thing if people fuck with me. That's probably something you should remember. I have to go, but we should do this again. Wait. My turn with the questions. People usually walk by now. Why are you really asking all these things? Are you eyeing me up? Because if this is just about sex, maybe you should just fucking say so. I'm not looking for that. I don't get you. You don't want anything, but you keep coming around. <laughs> maybe we'll talk later. Maybe not. Oh, Jack, you have issues. All right, Grunt, how you doing? Shepard. Just checking in. How you doing? Battlemaster, I have everything. Clan, kin, and enemies to fight. That's all for now. Shepard. All right, Grunt's all settled in. That's good. Check in with Morden. I think Jacob's pretty much done as well. Uh, right, what have we got here? What's it cool down? Let's get that on there. Excellent. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Actually, wanted to talk. Medical matters. Aware that mission is dangerous. Different species react differently to stress. Past relationship with Talizora makes dalliance attractive as stress release. Still, recommend caution. Quarry an immune system weak could kill her. Tally is important to me. I wouldn't be doing this if she didn't want it to. Of course, no offense intended. We'll be here to provide treatment as necessary. Minimize risk. You have a recommendation as a doctor? Tally Zora acquired antiseptic. Recommend you self-sterilize as well. Oral contact with tissue dangerous. Take precautions. Also forwarding advice booklet to your quarters. Valuable diagrams, positions comfortable for both species, erogenous zone overviews. Can supply oils or ointments to reduce discomfort. <laughs> ED electronic relationship aid demonstration bids to use as necessary. Wait a minute, Borden. You're just yanking me around, aren't you? Shocking suggestion. Doctor patient confidentiality, a sacred trust, would never dream of mockery. Enjoy yourself while possible, Shepard. We'll be here studying cell reproduction. Much simpler, less alcohol and mood music required. <laughs> Oh, Morden, you are awesome. Commander, can I help you with something? I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. I'm good, Shepard. Ready for anything. We live, we'll, we'll talk alive. later. Commander. Yeah, we're pretty much done with most of the crew now. Uh you received a new message at your private terminal. Have I now? Uh, Elizabeth Bainham. Hey Shepard, I heard what you did on Ilium and I wanted to thank you for helping out Zeus Hope one, one more time. I haven't actually done that yet, so... <laughs> this email is... Uh, uh, it's come a bit early. We're surviving, if barely. Most of Exogeny left, but I stayed behind as an attaché. 
and to make sure that nothing is of, was left off the Thorian. We don't need that problem again. Also, I'm really, really sorry that I shot at you. I'm pretty sure I said that, but I just wanted to reiterate it. Reiterate it. Good luck and thanks. Zeus Hope is alive again because of what you did. Uh, Prague facility update. Commander Shepard, contacting you per elusive man's instructions. He believed you would want to know that he uh, had ordered Subject Zero's project shut down before the riot broke out. Cerberus pers uh, personnel arrived to find all guards dead along with most of the subjects. Any surviving children were treated for injuries given mild uh, am amnesic treatment and delivered to Alliance facilities as survivors of sla uh, slaver attacks. A few surviving doctors were forcibly retired for their role in the project. Per your report, the facility on Pragya has been destroyed. I see. I had a wonderful chat with your friend Tally. She's not what I expected from her psych report. I like her. Tally's a good friend. We've been through a lot together. My female intuition says she wants to be more than just good friends. I always felt there might have been some chemistry there. There is. It's in her body language. How she turns to you when you enter the room. How she watches your every move. Horians are so fascinating to me. They also make me a little sad. Why do they make you sad? Their environment suits are so beautiful, but with their immune systems, they're trapped inside. I wonder what they look like under those helmets, or what their skin feels like under those suits. Are you attracted to other species? Well, part of my job is predicting the motives and feelings of humans and aliens. Intimacy brings understanding. And passion is nice wherever you find it. Character matters, not race or gender. Anything else, Commander? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. You're good people, Kelly. Alright, let's head back to Ilium. Need to recruit Samara and Thane. There we go. Uh, Garrus and Tally. Ah, now what can I... Concussive shot. Yes, let's boost you up. I have that one. Oh, power gun's maxed out. Excellent. There we go. Oh, hello again, concierge. Does living at a higher altitude make you more intelligent? Our report may surprise you. New data commissioned by the Architectural Unit. We were always no told that Ilium is one of the safest places in the galaxy until you fell off the grid. Sign the wrong contract, join up with the wrong company, or walk down the wrong alley, and it's as dangerous as anywhere else. Don't let this place fool you. It's no safer here than Omega. Pardon me, I'm dealing with damn Ilium travel bureaucracy. Were you trying to get them to help you find this locket? Oh. Stephen. Thank you. Thank you so much. My daughter was young when he died. This is the only memento she has of him. Please accept this. It's much less than I would have had to pay the bureaucrats to authorize a search. There we go. Nice to do nice things. Are you shorting free tabs? Why not? Right. There's apparently an undercover cop somewhere. Do you have anything flashier? I want something that says I own Alien News would like to offer a clarification of our special report on notorious Is she around here? No, actually, I think she's does not encourage or tolerate prejudice against any sapient species. This way. Do we need to remember that one? Right. Liara is up there. I think we'll deal with Liara last. Liara, 
Listen, I know the data is vital to the Kurosa family. The Sana Dantius didn't give us time to pack. Now, lucky I got out at all. Her mercenaries were starting to shoot. If she lets us back in, I'll get it, I promise. If not, well, we'll just have to hope. Right, that's another side thing we need to keep an eye out for. Uh, yeah, let's do Thane as we're here. Sorry, I'm busy right now. Okay, maybe not you. Oh no, I think we need to talk to Liara first, don't we? Before, oh uh, yeah. Okay, so let's go see Liara. Yeah, we need to talk to her first about Thane and Samara. Hello, Commander Shepard. Liara will be pleased to see you. You're Liara's assistant? Yes. Liara relies upon me to acquire useful intelligence. I don't have her network of contacts, but I supply her with supplemental data. It's really an honor to work with her. What's Liara's reputation here on Ilium? She is greatly respected. In a few short years, she's amassed a sizable network of connections. She could have even more political power than she already wields if she weren't so focused on her personal goals. But I believe she should tell you about that, not me. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander. Hi, Liara. Have you faced an Asari commando unit before? Few humans have. I'll make it simple. Either you pay me, or I flay you alive. With my mind. <coughs> Shepard! Nixeris, hold my calls. <sighs> Shepard. Hey, Liara. How you doing? My sources said you were alive, but I never believed. It's very good to see you. You have sources now? A few. Sources, contacts, even a little hired muscle. I've been working as an information broker. It's paid the bills since you, well, for the past two years. And now you're back, gunning for the collectors with Cerberus. That's not exactly public knowledge. Neither is you being alive, Shepard. Information is my business now. And if you need information on finding people, I'm happy to help. There's an Asari named Samara here on Ilia. Do you know where I could find her? Samara? Yes. She arrived recently and registered with tracking officer Dara. You can find Dara at the transportation hub. Why would Samara have to register with a tracking officer? Is she a criminal? No. In fact, she's quite the opposite. Samara is a Justicar, one of an ancient sect of Asari warriors. Dara can tell you more. I'm looking for Thane Krios. He's supposed to be here on Ilium. The assassin? Yes. He arrived here a few days ago. My sources tell me he may be targeting a corporate executive, Nisana Dantius. He contacted a woman named Serena. Serena has an office in the cargo transfer levels. Perhaps she can tell you where Krios is. That was all just off the top of your head? I'm a very good information broker, Shepard. The world of intrigue isn't that different from a dig site. Except that the dead bodies still smell. <laughs> Thanks for the help. That's all I needed to know. Of course. If there's anything else I can help you with, let me know. We'll do that a bit later. I'll talk to you later, Liara. Alright. Now we can uh, get uh, Thane and Samara on board. Listen, I know the data is vital to the Kurosa family. The Sana Dantius didn't give us time to pack. There we go. Serena? Who wants to know? Name Shepard. Liara Tassoni said you might have information on Thane Krios. Tana, cover for me. Over here. Yeah, I know who Thane Krios is. I might have passed him some information, but I didn't hire him. What do you want to know? 
Maybe you could help me find him? <laughs> I can tell you, but you won't stop him. When he contacted me, I checked up on him. The man never gives up on a job. I ran security for Nasana Dantius. Then I found out she was having people killed to cover up her dirty secrets. She fired me when I confronted her. Her loss. I might have been good enough to stop Thane from taking her down. If you work there, you must have an idea what his opposition will be. Eclipse Mercs. High-tech killers. Undisciplined, but very well equipped. They don't much care who they kill, as long as they're paid for it. Thane has quite a reception waiting for him. I told him all I knew. He didn't seem worried. Why does that name sound familiar? She was a representative on the Citadel a few years ago. Right. She had me kill her sister, the slaver. I thought that was just a rumor. Well, you know what she's capable of then. She has even more power here in Nos Astra. She uses it to keep her friends in check and her enemies dead. What a lovely person. So where do I find Thane? The Dantius Towers, penthouse level of Tower 1. There's a second tower, still under construction. If Thane is smart, he'll go in from there. It doesn't sound like Nasana's just gonna let me in. She's as smart as she is paranoid. No one's getting in or out of there without a fight. I can get you in, but you'll only get one shot. You better be ready. Do you know anything else about Thane? Not much. He did say that he's not doing the hit for money. Nobody hired him. I wanted to know who I was helping, and he said he's doing this job on his own. That he had to restore the balance of his life. I don't know. Maybe he's crazy. If he takes down Nasana, I don't care why he does it. You're just offering your help? No strings attached? You're going to look for Thane. Nasana's mercenaries will try to stop you. At the least, you'll distract her guards. Take a little fire, give Thane a clear shot. I didn't hire him to kill Nasana, but I won't shed any tears when she gets what's coming to her. Let's go then. Good. I'm tired of this crap. We'll go tonight as soon as the shift workers clear out of Tower 2. Good stuff. Uh, yep, yeah, Garrison Tally. The Dream Team. and you'll find more resistance closer to the penthouse. So, this assassin, you planning to stop him? I'm just here to make sure he survives. Hmm. There they are, the Dantius Towers. You'll have to get up to the second tower and cross the bridge to the penthouse. Her mercs will fight you every step, but it's your best chance. Why don't we just save time and take the shuttle up? She's got mercs with rockets just waiting for you to try. You get maybe halfway up before they shot you down. Besides, your assassin won't go in that way. Best to go in low. Any last minute tips about the towers? The Eclipse mercs will be well fortified by now, and they won't want to disappoint Nasana. There's no automated defenses or traps, just focus on anything moving. All right. Let's do this. Hold on. <laughs> Well, maybe one day we'll get flying cars like this. Dantius Towers. Here we go. Don't linger too long. They'll be here to greet you soon enough. Good luck, Shepard. Thanks. Oh no, can't save yet. Uh, disruptor and might.
There we go. All right, and now I can end this episode here. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma Later. This has been Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition, and I'll catch you next time. Take care now.